Hi guys, hope everybody's well. I haven't talked to you in a long time. It's been a long time since I had a haircut too. But anyway, Deb and I are, um, we're stuck at home. Um, no one I'd rather be with. And um, we're uh, doing well. We both had our first shot. So um, hopefully we get the second one and get on with things. We're, we should be in Florida right now, but not too many yahoos down there. So, um, we're, I guess we can't get across the border anyways. Anyways, um, we're both doing well. Uh, a few odds and sods this summer around the house. Uh, expecting a new grandbaby in June. Uh, Greg and Maya are expecting. So we don't know boy or girl yet, but uh, we're pretty excited about that. Um, I've been doing YouTube videos for the grandkids. I actually learned how to set up my own studio here. They're pretty rough. <laughs> Anyways, uh, hopefully you'll uh, enjoy it. I've been sending them updates uh, on my train set as it progresses. And um, I thought I'd uh, went, geez, I never sent you guys one. Then. So anyways, here goes. You guys have an investment in this, so um, I'll, uh, I'll give you a bit of a tour of it, and then I'll show you one of my engines. Hopefully it won't be too, too long here. Bear with me here. So the layout's divided this side and that side. So this side's the southwest desert, and the far side there is our, the town. And over on this side is, this is the mountain pass so I've been building this. This is my sort of last rough landscape work here. So I've been building this with uh, put uh, styrofoam behind. I do them in strips all the way along, and uh, then I cover it with. Uh, it's, there's some um, sculptor molds, kind of a plaster mixture, and uh, I put put all these. As you can see, these are all plaster casts. And then um, I stain them different uh, color stains. It brings out the uh, the texture in the rock and the, the color on it. And then this is just my little experiment here. So eventually I'll be covering all the rock down this area with uh, this material. These are uh, pine trees. And this is trees I made with um, um, goldenrod and uh, oil paint so they work pretty well i've had those for probably 10 years and they're still hanging in there so this is a tunnel so the train runs along here and going in this is the the first river and the bridge and i have to do a riverbed and then i'll do kind of a fake water pour and this part i'm working on down here is this is the the valley going between the two rock faces so this is still still wet plaster takes a while to dry that's some more of a, i'm going to have all this area in here is going to be eventually uh, these trees are going to be planted in there and this is my major bridge in the major river cutting through there and then it goes back through and building these walls here so so you just sort of build them up and put a little plaster in behind and kind of all they all stick together and can't run too many trains because all this going on, but uh, we just got them all taped up. So anyways, that's that side of the layout. It's been uh, lots of fun. And I'm just going to duck under here and I'll show you this part. <coughs> so this is where the comes out there from the, um, the valley. Runs along. And these are some of the structures I've been building. It's all very detailed stuff, fences. And those are houses under construction. Oh, look at that. I, ha I haven't hung it yet. I haven't found a home for it, but uh, I think I know where it's going. But it uh, keeps there and keeps me a reminder of work days. This is the Sunset Motel. This is all plaster. The roads are all plaster, and then I paint them on top. Then I got to do lines and those sort of things. And these are this is the sidewalks. That's a financial building. That's Dairy Queen. Kentucky Fried Chicken. This is a major 
road going through town and I have these, uh, these are crossing protectors and they actually flash. It's a fiber optic system I have. So all my buildings around here eventually I got, uh, I'll show you the post, light posts and the interiors of all the buildings. I'll, I'll light up with fiber optics. That's one of my engines. This one I just finished, Taco Bell. Yeah, grandkids love this one. Anyway, that's a little police car. So my son's police car. So it's a kid to get a kick out of that. This is going to be the Holiday Inn. I have to scratch build with Holiday Inn. Because there's no real kit for them, believe it or not. These are the fiber optic. You can see those. Those are, are globe lights. And then there's their goosenecks. And then this is your typical uh, road street lights. This is the auto body shop. I'm going to put a junkyard in there. I made all the fence for that. That's the uh, overpass. So the road goes up over there and the trains go through there. This is the lumber yard. Over here, another one the kids like is uh, this is the um, truck depot. All the trucks come in on the road and the trains come around this way go through this valley so I'll have again I did all sand um, did the plaster then I painted it brown and then I poured sand on it stuck into the paint and then some white glue so that just gives me a good surface to start with the landscape stuff I'll work from there it can be sort of more desert plants this is the Omnia plant. That's the rail line for it. They all trains come in here. That's some of the um, cars that I have. And that's the cement. Oh, one thing, I'm just going to turn here. Don't get nauseous. There's uh, two of the cars you got me. So they're there. And then the, um, it goes as the main line, and that goes down around, and then it actually goes down underneath. And then there's all track underneath there, so that's kind of the staging. And then if you go that way to the left, you'll come up in the valley, the rock valley, and, and then the trains just go round and round. Anyways, I thought I'd show you one of my engines. This is, um, that's the, my throttle. I can run uh, two trains. At the same time with this. Anyways, I'll start this one up. Huh. Technology still doesn't work for me. Anyways. That's the train. And then I control it all. This this the throttle right there. Let's give that a twist. Anyways, that gives you a good idea of what um, one of them. And those are a couple of other trains, engines I have. I got uh, probably uh, eight or nine engines, so lots of fun. And uh, anyways, I'll let you guys go and uh, hope everybody stays well and hope to see you guys sometime soon. Bye.